Hey everybody, welcome to Sunshine Hill Farms. Just gonna quick, do a quick run through of all my colonies for the end of month report. I'm gonna do this every once in a while so I have a record of what my hives look like. And I'll kind of give you a sense if you follow along of what's been happening around here. This colony I documented rearranging the boxes in the Ware hive. They're starting to build out the empty frames in the top, which was the objective. If I look over here to pad number one, I haven't done anything with that double six frame. It's still building out. On pad number two, this is my 10 frame polystyrene hive. I checked this the double mediums that are sitting over the brood nest are full and I gave them another box. An interesting thing is I thought about adding an Emery shim, but instead I found this box from somebody that had a hole in it you come across boxes along the way. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Let's give them a hole and see if they use this upper entrance. This colony was a five over five nuke box, wooden. I just switched it into eight over eight and gave them drawn comb so that they now have eight frames in both boxes and they'll be able to grow. This is a single queen castle that wasn't doing very well and now it's starting to go. Only thing I did here was swap it out to a conventional bottom board and roof. It had a different configuration a little bit before. These colonies in the middle, haven't done much with them. They're pretty much production colonies. I'm gonna leave them go. I looked at this one. The honey super on the right, the blue gray one is full. The gold one on the left is half full. I was looking to see if they were both full and whether they needed another stack. They don't. One of the things I noticed here is I think my top bar is sagging. You could see the gap there between them and the bees are finding ways in. So uh, maybe someday I'll have to figure out how to prop that up and make it a little stronger. As to the back row, this was a single six frame queen castle that's been built out from three frames. Now it's a double. Same with this one, six over six. No change for this one. This was a five over five wooden nuke box. It's now an eight frame polystyrene hive double and it gave them foundation, hoping they'll draw it out. This colony is a beast. This thing is really going. This one back here was a single and now it's a double. If I look around the property as to what's going on, um, on the other side of the property, there's two hives that look just like this. They were singles and now they're doubles. And there was one colony that was not doing well. The queen got mated. She was laying a haphazard pattern and they actually showed stress and some sign of foul brood. And I figured that I didn't want to shake those bees out in the yard and have them go into all the other colonies. I have this little tiny garden hive and I took the bees and shook them into the garden hive. I figure if they build comb and do something with it and maybe on clean comb, the queen will get organized and figure out what's what. Uh, rather than pinching her and setting her through or setting those bees into other colonies, let's see how they do on their own. I've got four production colonies out at Valley Crust, and that's the apiary report for the end of June here. Sorry, neighbors mowing the grass. I'm sure you can hear that off in the background. I see I got a little bit of comb on the ground there. I got to pick up, and I think I'll get to that and putting this excess equipment away that's stacked up around here. Thanks for checking in. So, you know, I'm going to add this on to the end of the video. I thought it would only right to show you the garden hive that I'm talking about. This is an eco bee box. It's got a small colony in it now and we'll see what they'll do. I like this box. I've actually split it up into small little ones and used it for queen castles. But in this case, it's going to house this colony and we'll see if they can figure out a way to take off. It does have drawn comb in it. so. It has something for them to get established and I'm hoping they don't abscond. They seem to have taken to it, so see what happens.